hello queens and kings welcome to my channel if it's your first time here welcome welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back today is it's quite a different video whereby we won't be doing any beating but we'll just be having a conversation we'll be talking about the sizes of the b belt and our bracelets if you noticed in the previous tutorials i would name the title i would say zulu bead slash bracelet um tutorial but there's a reason for that i have an example here with me this is a wonderful belt a complete one <laughs> and this is a bracelet a gorgeous bracelet the one that we were doing the the other day this bracelet and this belt the number of beads here and the number of beads here are the same i also have oopsie this bracelet and this belt the number of beads here and the number of beads here are the same the only difference is the size of the beads so i'll just be showing you how to work out because it all starts in the foundation the numbering that the, the numbering systems that you have in your foundation so see right back while well, flipping the camera and just i'll be jotting down on a pen and paper see you now now this is me who doesn't know how to edit and try to see if I can find the pause button. <laughs> okay, I'm back Queens and Kings and I felt that I had to write it down for the concept to be much more easier for me. So, this let's imagine this as our foundation. In the previous, in the... In the video whereby we were doing this bracelet, which I'll put the link, to, the link of that tutorial, but I'll put it in the comment section. I feel like in the comment section it's quite easier to access than in the bio. So this is the exact foundation that we had that we were using for this bracelet or the same belt that I showed you previously. And we had 12 beads in the foundation. So the trick is whatever size that you want, it's okay. As long as the number of beads that you have on your foundation, they should be in groups of four. As you can see, I put the groups of four in blocks so this groups of four, they determine the, the thickness of the belt. So from this side to this side, that's the thickness of the belt or the bracelet. If you want the thickness to be a smaller size than this, you can just remove one group of four and have two groups of four. So... In this case, you'll have a much thinner bracelet or a belt, whereby you only have eight beads in your foundation. If you want a thicker, a thicker bracelet than this, in this case, which is this bracelet, I like to put them like this so that it does show that it is quite thicker. If you want a thicker bracelet like this, you add into your groups of four. So instead of having 12, you will just, or, or two groups, or sorry, instead of having 12 beads or eight beads in your foundation, you will add four, eight, 12, 16, 16 beads. So with this bracelet, it, it is quite thicker. So it has 16 beads, not 6 beads, 16 beads in the foundation. 
So whatever size that you would want, it's okay. Just as long as the number of beads that you have are in groups of four. As long as the number of beads that you have are in groups of four. And that's it. Nice and short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really hope this video was quite understandable. If you really love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. So today I was you, I mean, I am I'm out of my comfort zone because I'm, doing, I'm not doing beads, I'm doing more of explaining and in pen and paper. So I'm really, really sorry if you feel that the video is all over the place. Please forgive me. I will try to do more videos like this whereby so that I can get comfortable. But you know what they say, when you're uncomfortable, you are growing. You're actually learning something new. So, yeah. Thank you so much. See you guys on the next video. I love you so, so much.